In this video, we are discussing data insertion into a table. In the previous videos, we have shown you that how to create a database and how to create one table. Now we shall discuss that how to insert data onto those created tables. Data insertion on the table can be done in two different ways, either directly issuing the insert command where we will be passing our data so that data can get inserted into the table and another way is that from the data file we can fetch data to insert it as a records in the table. So we shall be discussing both of them. So let us discuss one by one. At first we are starting with that how to insert data into hype table. So we are starting with that we can add data from a file. So how to fetch data from the file so that my data will get inserted in the hype. So we can add data from a file stored in the HDFS directory and the syntax will be like this that is load data in path then path has to be mentioned into table then the table name has to be mentioned here. So the command is load data in path the path will be mentioned where we can find the file containing the data and then into table and then table name and semicolon. We should remember that the fields terminated by type must be matched with the fields terminated delimiter in an actual data file. That means whatever the terminators we are using here and they should match with each other otherwise the data insertion may not be successful. So now let us go for another type of insertion that is we can also insert data without using a file. That means this insertion syntax is very similar with the RDBMS insert query syntax. So syntax will be insert into table then table name values then within first brackets val1 comma val2 comma dot 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 then we can have the val n and then we will be having the closing first bracket. So we have seen that there are two ways to insert data onto the hype table one is from the data file and another one is using our insert query. When you are going for the data file uh, insertion that is the data file content will be inserted onto the hype in that case the delimiter should match. That means the data file must have the data separated by some delimiters maybe comma or some other characters and that delimiter must be matching. So otherwise the data insertion will be unsuccessful and in case of directly inserting data onto the hype table the query syntax is very similar with the RDBMS insert query syntax. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the better understanding on this query executions. In this demonstration we shall insert data from the SDFS file. So here we are selecting one file. So it is our SDFS root and then we are having this one as Hadoop my files. If you click here we are having one file that is a student underscore info dot csv. So let me at first check the current content of this file. So I shall go for this control alt t. So one new terminal has got opened. So let me check what is the current content of the file that is the student underscore info dot csv residing under the residing under the folder that is the Hadoop my files. So here the command is sdfs then dfs then minus cat then Hadoop root then we shall go for Hadoop my files then we shall go for Hadoop my files and then we shall go for student. I need not to type the full one I can also put the wildcard character. So the file content is this is the file content you can find that this is the file content. You can easily access this file content that is the Amit Electronics Kolkata. So then Dinesh Computer Science Chennai, Kushal Phoenix Kolkata, Roktim Computer Science Delhi and Tapos Electronics Mumbai. So from this file that is the student high underscore info dot csv I want to load my data onto my uh, onto my database that is a hype database whatever you have created. So let us go for the same. So here our our table name is our uh, stood. So in this stood I am going to put that one. So how to do? So we shall go for this one as load then data then in path then within single quote I am supposed to write the whole thing. So that is our my that is the Hadoop my files. So remember that Hadoop my files was written in the capital letters M and F 
so Hadoop my files so M and F should be in capital letters and then I should give the file name that is a student underscore info dot CSV single quote has to be completed here then you shall go for into then table then stood so this is the total content so if I press enter so current content in that uh, student underscore info dot CSV has got loaded here so let me check select start from stood I can find that we are having this Amit Electronics Kolkata Dinesh Computer Science Chennai so accordingly the data have got loaded here we are having five rows but also not only from the data file also we can uh, we can insert records here directly so in that case we shall go for insert into we shall go for insert into stood values the syntax is very same uh, as we do in case of uh, SQL so Shubhashish let the department be say EE and then say I shall go for say Kolkata so in this way also we can insert our data directly so insert into table name so student the stood values Shubhashish EE and Kolkata so one thing is missing there so insert into table I should write here table let me write it so it is just look at the error message missing table at the stood near EOF so I'm just putting this one as insert into table stood values Shubhashish EE Kolkata you see it has got inserted so let me go for select start from stood you can find that here we are having this Shubhashish EE Kolkata and rest five records are there so in total six records six, row, six rows are there in this particular table so now here we are having three uh, main uh, um, columns so we are having this name major and city so let me show you that here also we can go for some aggregation functions so I'm going for say select I shall select say count I shall go for count select count and then distinct so I want to get that how many departments are there so here they're not the department here it is major so select count distinct major from stood you can find that we're having four such we're having four such because if you don't give this distinct keyword if you don't give this distinct keyword we're going to get here six so that's why why because we know that we are having select start from stood so here you can see we are having six rows we are having six rows and out of them you see electronics has got repeated twice and computer science also has got repeated twice so in, if you go for the distinct de departments we are having the count and that is our uh, four here okay now let us go for select select uh, say major okay then count of say name select major and then count of name and then I shall go for uh, say um, from stood group by major so I want to get so select major comma count of name from stood group by major so if I execute the code this uh, this query you can find that against computer science we are having two students against EE we are having only one student against electronics we are having two students against physics we are having only one student so in this way you can do the grouping we can have the aggregate function applicable in our queries thanks for watching this video